Okay, so I made a video on how I prepared for nine interviews in two months, and in this video, I want to talk about one of the interview experiences that I had, which was interviewing at Rubric. So at Rubric, I interviewed for the G5 level, and the salary for this is about you have 38 or 37 base, and then there are stock components as well. So in this inter in this video, I want to talk about my complete interview experience and what it was like and how did I prepare for it especially as someone who's working full-time as well so you can get to, to learn a lot about how you can prepare if you want to get into these companies as a software engineer rubric interviews were very very in-depth so the inter recruiters they also gave me a comprehensive list about what i should prepare for what kind of questions i can you should expect that that is the only help that you will get from the recruiters they you they won't be any feedback after any round or anything like that you just have to go ahead and give the interviews so I interviewed for that and I was given a complete list that I was given a complete list about the topics that I should prepare. So the first round was a phone screen round. So there are about five interview rounds which will be there. Two of them will be a multi-threading based rounds and two of them will be data structures algorithm round. And the last round will be a round that you will have with your engineering manager or hiring manager. So the two multi-threading rounds, they are going to be very, very in-depth. So depending on Java or C++, which programming language you are in, you will have to learn a lot about multi-threading concept you have to learn about logs semaphore and i'm not just talking about like theoretical concept you have to be able to code it you have to be comfortable with coding in logs semaphore you should know about the popular multi-threading problems like dining philosophers problem or there are other also there are a lot of problems as well i will go ahead and link all the resources in the description below you can go ahead and check those out so you have to prepare for multi-threading and other than that the two interview the two data structures algorithm round they will mostly be based on either math kind of concepts or they'll be both based on trees and graphs. So in my experience, one of them was based on math kind of concepts, math plus arrays. And the second was based on trees plus dynamic programming on trees. So these were the two data structures algorithms around. Now talking about the multi-threading round, this is something which I really had to prepare for because I have not given these rounds before. So for multi-threading, I mostly pressed prepped from geeks for geeks and then i also use this site called algo monster which really helped me prepare for data structures and algorithms because i was on the time crunch again the link will be in the description below go ahead and check that out for the multi-threading you should so you should be aware about threads and their life cycle you should be aware about system and operating system concepts and then you should also be aware about java concurrency api if you are someone who codes in java because i code in java so that's what it was for me so you have to be aware about these concepts and multi-threading and you should also be able to practice it and code it out so i would say geeks for geeks is great just go ahead and look at the examples as well coding examples make sure you're able to code it because theoretical concepts alone won't do so my two of these rounds multi-threading rounds went very well i had a great discussion with the interviews as well in my data structures algorithms round they were also very the interviewers weren't really that responsive and they weren't really interacting much so you should really be aware of that so if you're going to interview with this company it really depends on your interviewer and how interactive they are with you. You either might get very good interviewers that really want you to succeed or you might get interviewers who are not really ready to work out the solution with you. So you should be prepared for both the scenarios. In the engineering manager interview, again, it was a technical interview plus a mix of behavioral concepts as well. They will really ask you about your past interview experience, past company experience, past projects that you have worked on and they will really go in depth about the projects and everything. So you should be prepared for that. For me, I have been working in backup for GKE at Google. So my domain and the domain of Rubrik as well, which is in the data and backup space were very, very closely related. And I think that's also the reason why the recruiters reached out to me, even though I had not applied for Rubrik ever. I straight away got a LinkedIn reach out and then I got an email reach out. So that's how I was contacted for the Rubrik interview and uh, yeah i think that's it for the interview experience you have to learn about multi-threading be very good at it data structures and algorithms solve past rubric questions go ahead and learn about graphs dynamic programming these are those are very very important and if you are applying as a fresher then make sure that your projects are closely related to data and backup or something in the data space something very data heavy if your projects are based on that then, then your resume will get shortlisted and yeah, that's it for my interview experience. I hope you liked it. I will again link the description, all everything in the description below, all the resources that I used. 
and i hope this helps you make sure you subscribe so you can get notified about my more future videos i help you with learning ai and getting into these ai roles getting into these tech roles so make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell and i will see you in my next one until then bye bye